Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Video today regarding a um, way to add subtitles to YouTube videos, leveraging the decent automatic subtitle generation functionality in YouTube. So I did a video a few days ago showing how to use Caden Live, the popular um, open source video editing software in order to add subtitles, but not actually render them on the video, rather export them as a .srt file, upload that into YouTube Studio and then have a manual subtitle track. Now I posted that video on the Caden Live subreddit and as someone said, that's not the most intelligent way to go about things. But you know, in my perspective, it's fine to have a few methods. Uh, this was one method, but another method that, that the person point, uh, pointed out was one I also wanted to show, which is using the automatic subtitles that YouTube generates whenever you upload a video and starting from that instead of from scratch and then just fixing a few things that are incorrect about that uh, subtitle file and then adding that in as, as a manual human subtitle and then you can do the auto translate to different languages if you want and what you'll find is that once you have a really solid English subtitling file the auto translations to different languages will be much better than if you just worked off the automated YouTube subtitle file. I, ho I hope that was clear. But to, to break this down a little bit, I thought what I would do is for a demo is add subtitles into one of my videos. So this is actually my uh, most popular YouTube video to date, believe it or not. It's about the uh, TP-Link ER605, which is in normal person language, a box that uh, improves your internet connection. It's, uh, it's a load balancing uh, wired router for failover. So I did this video and to my surprise, 22,000 views is quite a lot and a decent amount of comments. So it seems good. So this would be, if I'm gonna do add subtitles to one video right now, let's start with the popular ones. So what I can do is going into the, in my YouTube studio here, just click on the edit uh, pencil icon. I'm gonna put myself down here. And now I'm going to jump on the left into subtitles. Now I haven't added anything, this video is up on YouTube, but as you can see, there is already a published uh, version. Now these are the automatic subtitles, and let's just take a quick look at how good they are. So it's just a me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is Daniel Rose. So I probably should start my videos more imaginatively. But let's take a look at how that was captured in the auto-generated English subtitles. So when you go into subtitles, you have an option English, but it does say it's auto-generated. So let's take a look at what's on the screen. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosalier, I guess it would be pronounced. So they've clearly got my surname wrong, but besides that, the sentence is okay. So we have a good basis i would say now when we go into the subtitle um options here we have english duplicate and edit right so what i can do is actually download this as a dot srt format and we have here now captions dot srt now here's what a subtitle file looks like i'm using this in ubuntu linux and dot srt it's a really really simple um, plain text format. It has timestamps um, and it has text as you can see. Now I have subtitle editor installed on my computer. That's the program this is using. So it actually makes it really, really easy to work with. So we can see, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube. So hi, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube, right? It should be a capital Y, capital T channel this is daniel rosalier now i'm not going to do the whole thing because that would make this video very cumbersome i want to do a video showing the configuration and the tp link er605 okay i'm just gonna save these two lines and we have start end duration and text right so what if if i do now is i'm going to save this as i'm going to go to my desktop and i'm going to call this er605 up underscore updated dot srt and I'm going to click on save. Now what I'm going to do is click add language and I'm going to go for English. Now I'm gonna actually edit this whole subtitle file but I'll do it after the video. Now English, technically I guess I do speak uh, Irish English if you will. Duplicate and edit and I'm gonna edit my existing English draft. And this is just everything 
put together here it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mess but i have the option here for uploading a file and i'm going to be uploading the file with a timing so just to be clear on what i've done today so i've gone into youtube studio i've gone into my video which has automatic subtitles i've downloaded that subtitle file in my chosen format i like srt i've then installed a subtitle editor now you actually don't even need to use a subtitle editor you can probably just use a text notepad whatever google subtitle editor windows i'm using subtitle editor on ubuntu and i'm sure there's one on mac then i'm editing that i'm actually editing the ai generated subtitle file and then to finish off the process when i'm happy with it i'm uploading it again to youtube so this is actually a pretty nice workflow in my opinion of humans and ai working in harmony so subtitle type is going to be with timing because remember we had those timestamps and now all you need to do is point uh point to uh the srt file on your computer mine is er605 underscore updated dot srt and now if you see the edits have been preserved I'm going to click on publish and later after I finish this video, I'm going to um, edit this. Give it a second to load. Now, if we get, we firstly refresh the video. And now we should have, hopefully, sometimes I've noticed there's a bit of a lag after you publish subtitles. It takes a little while. Um, so this is good. Welcome back to my YouTube and we can see that YouTube has the capital Y and the capital T. So this must this must mean that we are now accessing the actual manual English subtitles. And now under subtitle slash CC, by clicking on the settings cog, we don't have one subtitle file, which would be the English auto-generated. We have two. And as you can see here, we have English and then we have English auto-generated. And you can, of course, do uh, auto-translate welcome back to my youtube this is daniel rosal so that is a workflow um, an alternative workflow to adding manually your subtitles in caden live and then exporting the xrt then exporting that up to the cloud this is a smarter way and it's also going to be a lot quicker because instead of save it starting from scratch and having to type out every single thing you say you're going to have a pretty decent first pass at it by AI. And then all you need to do is make some tweaks to get it up to 100% and then upload it. I hope this video has been useful. If you are a uh, fellow YouTuber and uh, you're looking to start adding subtitles to your videos, if you want to get more videos from me about uh, Linux technology, backups and other subjects, please do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.